The biggest problem in basically every business is the ability to get more people that are willing to give your business money. Customers, clients, at this point I've made over a million dollars online teaching other people how to make money with their own businesses, with music. So I feel like I have a fairly good understanding of what you can do in marketing that works and what doesn't. So every dollar that I put into advertisement, I get an average of 11 out. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix your marketing. I'm not gonna show you these crazy little tactical things that you can do, but I'm gonna show you a little bit deeper psychology and why these things work and what actually triggers people to want to buy from you because that's the most important thing is the root cause of all of it. So this works for musicians, this works for coaches, this works for teachers, this works for any business owner. But if you think about most people's marketing, you'll see this. This is what broke people market like. They say, I have this many credits, I have this many degrees, I went to this school, so I've done all this stuff. Or they'll say, I've worked with this name, this popular name, this popular company, this famous person, so I have credits to be able to do this. If you notice, everything that was said right there is all about the business owner themselves. At the end of the day, your customer does not necessarily care about what the business owner has done. Yes, that comes secondary, that comes as an afterthought. It helps solidify in your client or prospect's mind that you're capable of doing it, but what they actually, actually truly care about and what should be at the forefront of your marketing is what your service or your product can do for them once they're done with you. They don't buy your resume. They don't buy how cool you are. You could stack as many cool facts and as many cool things as you as possible, but at the end of the day, the last and final decision in their mind is like, what can this business or what can this person or buying this thing do for me and how does it change my life? If you focus all of your marketing around your clients instead, it's gonna make a massive difference. You're gonna bring in more high quality people, you're gonna bring in people who are willing and happy to pay you versus you trying to pull teeth and get people to pay you because of how cool you are. And that's just, if you think of it, it's common sense. When you think about the last thing that you bought, you bought something because you wanted to solve a problem in your life. It doesn't matter if it was a phone, it was a fidget toy, it was a book, it was a towel. All those things lead to solving some kind of problem that yet you have in your own life. Not because the towel business owner was super cool, not because you bought a phone because you're like, I really like Steve Jobs. That may be a fact, you may like Steve Jobs, you may really like the things that he does, but you like the things that he does because of what his product can do for you. So if you put yourself in your prospect's shoes, that's exactly what they want. They want, what can this thing do for me? So if you put that front of mind, all of your marketing is gonna change. You're gonna start talking about other people and about how you can solve their problems and that's gonna change everything for you, right? And if you were a music teacher, let's say, and you can talk about how you will achieve blank or you will be able to blank, you instead of I, if you switch that all around, it's gonna change everything. Because if you said things like, I can help you play piano at a professional level and I can help you land more gigs, or I can help you sing better without the vocal damage that 90% of the singers go through so that you can sustain a longer career, and I can also help you land those auditions, those are the things that they care about at the end of the day. Next objection is then, we'll prove it. How can you do this? And then you can say, I know what's going on in your head. You're wondering who's this guy and why can he help me? That's where this comes in. And this is always secondary. This should be the forefront. Your clients, what you can do, the problem that you solve should be the forefront. What you do comes as an afterthought. That's just to prove, oh yeah, I have all this so I can help you. Most people, they are so focused on the fact that, well, I have this, I have this, I have this. But the people that don't have those things, they focus on, well, I don't have this, so I can't charge this much. I don't have this, so I can't do this. The fact is the world, the landscape has changed so much. There's so many people that offer so many different things out there. There's so much opportunity on the internet now that anybody can sell anything to anyone because the people who are just one level beneath you, even if you're not a professional guitar player, but you're intermediate. The beginners are gonna wanna be intermediate to the level that you want. And if you're in advance, the people who are intermediate will want to be advanced. The beginners want to be advanced. So people buy from people they resonate with and people who are just closer to them. There's been many times where I've hired coaches that are multimillionaires, hundreds of millions of dollars, right? And I've just noticed that like when I go into their programs, they're harder people to reach. 
because they're so far away. And they've done all these things that I want to do years ago. So it's not fresh in their mind. Whereas if I hired somebody who's just made 1 million or 2 million, 10 million, they just went through the stage that I'm in more recently. So they have it more fresh in their mind, what actions they took, the feelings they had during that stage and how to overcome those issues. So if you're thinking that you don't have all these accolades, you don't have all these credits in the music industry, in the film industry, you don't need all that. What you need to be able to do is to solve somebody else's problem or get them to the desire that they want. That's truly, truly what's more important than this side of things, what you've done. It's what you can do for them. So if you change your whole psychology and your whole mindset around this, this is really going to help you change everything. In your marketing, people talk about like, hey, do you have this general problem? Do you face this general problem? Are you having a hard time practicing? Are you doing all this? That's what everybody says in their marketing. If you want to stand out, do you think you should say what everybody else is saying? Or do you think you should sound like somebody who is saying something completely different? And the best way to do this, this is key, the best way to be very effective in your marketing is to be able to speak somebody's current situation in gruesome detail better than they can understand it themselves. Because when you can talk about someone's situation so clear cut in their mind, they're like, are you reading my mind? How do you know what's going on? How do you know that specific situation? How do you know that feeling I'm going through? I remember I had ran an ad that did really well towards music producers and the ad went like this. <laughs> Let me know this, this sounds familiar. You're a music producer, you want to make this thing a career, but instead your whole day is spent you hitting snooze 10 times before you actually wake up. You get into your cold car, you start it up, you let it warm up until it's finally warm and you get stuck in traffic on your way to your job. You're stuck at your job for the next eight and a half hours, you get stuck in traffic on the way back, and by the time you actually open your door and get home, you're exhausted, you don't wanna focus on your music, you just wanna lay down because you're gonna to have to repeat the same thing over again. And this vicious cycle never ends. So I was in gruesome detail walking them through a step-by-step -step scenario of their own lives, right? My perfect client. I think about who my perfect client is and what they're going through, and I recreate that, articulate those words so that they feel like they're going through the story. Once I say that, they're like, how do you know that? When you prove that you can understand someone's situation so well, their automatic assumption is that you have a solution to that problem. So that builds trust, that builds authority in you. And the next thing you do is you then present the solution. If this sounds like you, then I can help you fix this because I've been through the same situation, which is why I know this story so well. So instead of telling people, this is what you need, this is what you wanna do, this is your problem, and pointing fingers, because again, people don't listen when you just point fingers. People listen through storytelling. If you think about the last TEDx talk you saw, it's stories, stories of people, how they came up, what kind of problems they came through so that other people can relate to them. If you think about your parents when they told you, don't do this thing, don't do this thing, don't do this thing, what was the next thing you did? Exactly what they told you not to do. Whereas if they told you a story like, hey, you know that kid down the street, he was riding his bike without a helmet and uh, he crashed and he's paralyzed now and he can't walk ever again. So next time you hop on your bike, like, what do you think you should do? Probably wear a helmet. People are more likely to resonate with like that, even children, because it's built into our innate human psychology than if you were to tell them what to do. So it's the same thing with your marketing. If you can help paint them this picture, show them and prove to them that you understand their situation so well by describing it in gruesome detail, the next thing they're going to automatically assume is that you have a solution to it. And that's where you present your solution, which is your product or your service. So if you do this type of marketing, I guarantee you, while everybody else is talking about themselves, your competition is talking about themselves and how great they are. If you talk about your client instead, you're going to rake in all the clients while they stay broke. It's gonna change everything for you. I promise, if you change that, if you change everything about your business, to be about your clients and how you can solve their problem, that's what's going to bring in more clients and people that pay you. Because business is all about solving other people's problems. It's not about feeding your own ego. So if you can prove you can solve other people's problems, they're gonna be happy to pay you. And that's what truly matters in the end. And this is why most people's marketing is so disconnected and they can't get their ads to work, they can't get their content to work 
Focus on what you can do for them, not what you did for yourself in the past, hoping that they would buy off of that. If you found this helpful, subscribe to this channel and share this video with somebody that you think would benefit from this. And if you wanna learn more about how I can help you grow your online education business, I'll leave a link below so that you can check out a free training and it's gonna go into even more detail about how you can grow a high ticket coaching business and you can book a call also if you feel like you want me to help you. Regardless, take care and I'll see you in the next video.